Hi, I'm Brett Larkin, and welcome to 18 Days of Yoga for Your Body and Soul that I'm hosting with Yoga Outlet. Our inspiration word for today is flexibility. We're going to be working on our hamstrings in this short sequence. To start, come to the top of the mat with your feet hip width apart, and we're going to start in a forward fold. You'll notice I have two blocks on either side of my mat, and if you have blocks at home, you want to position them just as I have them here, so pause the video and get them out before we get started. Interlace your hands behind your back, and we're just going to do a gentle little shoulder opener here with the knees bent. So just let gravity have your head, let the knees be soft and bent. Fingers interlaced, heels of hands touching, back of the neck is long, and maybe just move the weight from foot to foot. So just a little gentle waving of the upper body from side to side. Good, and then clasp opposite elbows. And same thing, just gentle rocking side to side. We're just slowly saying hello to our hamstrings. So keep the knees either bent, you can just start straightening one leg or then the other, just kind of moving the torso to the left, to the right. Good, and then now interlace your hands behind your um, head. So right where your hairline meets your neck and just gently traction your neck forward. So the definition of flexibility is a willingness to compromise. So throughout this sequence, you want to ask yourself, you know, just how flexible are you in your day-to-day -day life? When things don't go your way, do you get really upset and hot-headed? Are you kind of able to roll with the flow? Good. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to your downward facing dog. Pedal through the legs. Another definition of flexibility I read and liked was uh, the ability to bend without breaking. <laughs> so flexibility can be a way that we use to really beat ourselves up, right? Like I'm not flexible. So for the purposes of this practice, breaking <laughs> means any negative self-talk about how flexible you are, you aren't. Walk the hands back towards the feet. Final forward fold here. Just inhale, half lift. And exhale, whatever of those three forward folds you liked the most before, just do it again. Holding opposite elbows, hands behind the head, or fingers interlaced, whichever one you feel like you needed a little more of. Again, maybe twisting side to side. And in this forward fold, we just release any judgment. So just feel any judgment about your flexibility or where you are in your practice right now. We'll just topple down out of your head onto the mat. <laughs> Good. Inhale, walk back out to downward facing dog. Now that we've released all our judgment, inhale, rock forward to plank pose. Mm, exhale, pull your navel up and back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reach the right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hips. We'll start with just a hip stretch. So you might need to look at the screen for this one. I want you to drop your knee, your right knee, so it brushes past your left knee. You're just going to kind of open the knee in some circles. So we're just warming up the hips here, yeah? Good. Last two. Last one. Good. And then step the foot between the hands, find a runner's lunge. And then exhale. This is why we have the blocks here. You're going to straighten the front leg. And if you don't have blocks, you can use furniture or just hands on the floor. Just watch that the shoulders aren't up by the ears. Glide your shoulder blades down your back. And then we're going to flow. So we're going to inhale. We're going to bend the front knee. And then as we exhale, we straighten the front knee and fold. So we're just getting into the hamstring. Inhale, bend. Roll the chest open. Maybe you could let the back knee hit the floor. Exhale, straight. So I'm not picky about whether the knee is off the floor or on the floor. I just want this to feel good. It should just feel like you're 
you know, dating your hamstring, like taking it out for a nice dinner. We're just warming it up here, seeing what's happening. Inhale, roll the chest open. And exhale, straighten the leg. Good, and for this one, definitely bring the left knee onto the floor. We're gonna roll the chest open and we're trying to feel a big stretch in the psoas here. Interlace the hands behind your back. Look up. Big breath in. Exhale, hands frame the foot. You're gonna kick off the left leg and come into a standing split. So again, hello hamstring. And if the standing split is too much for you or you're new to yoga, you know, just use the blocks or use your couch or furniture you have. And it's okay to hold the wall, okay to have hands on the floor. Good. And then exhale, bring the left foot down to the right. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up, or reach up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Good, inhale, palms lift, chest lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, send the right foot back in space this time. Left leg bends and just reach the left arm towards the sky. Easy twist, straighten the back leg. Good, take the left hand down and then kick the left leg high to the sky. So we're setting up now second side. Bend the knee, stack the hips. We'll do our little hip opener first. So take the left knee down to brush past the right and then make some big circles. So maybe you feel the hips kind of crack or make noise. If you wonder why your joints make noise, I actually have a video about that. I'll put it in the description box below this one if you wanna watch it. Last circle, good. And then left foot in front, runner's lunge. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, straighten the leg. Just flowing on your own breath. So this is really dictated by the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale to straighten. So another thing we want to do here is in yesterday's video, if you're doing these videos in order, we really focused on strengthening the legs and pulling up through the legs. I want you to pull up through the legs even though we're now adding folds and dynamic movement. <laughs> Good, and for this last one, let the right knee touch the ground and then just really clasp the hands behind the low back if that's feasible for you, big stretch in the psoas. And if you don't have yoga blocks, you know you're just doing all this with your hands on the floor. You just need to make extra effort to draw the shoulder blades down the back. Last breath, good. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Step it back, dog, plank, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Step, jump, or walk, top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up, reach up. Exhale, press the air away, or take the hands through heart center. Inhale, lift the chest. Feel your whole in-breath. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the left foot back in space, left hand to the mat, right hand to the sky, easy twist. Good, exhale, hands frame the foot. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, or skip it. Inhale, take the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose just once. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, take the foot between the hands, low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Mm. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana, fold. So you're gonna flex the front foot. Again, blocks are great. If you don't have blocks, hands are just on the floor. Take a look at your hips and notice if the hips are really swiveled to one side or the other. You want the hips to be square and then you're gonna inhale, you're gonna prioritize length in your spine. This is where the blocks are helpful. And then exhale, fold. Now I want you to imagine that you're 
right foot was pressing into a wall and your foot is actively flexed. So flex with both the pinky toe and the big toe side of the foot. So just like we talked about yesterday, the leg is engaged. You're pulling up through this leg. It's not just hanging there like something dead. Inhale, half lift. Imagine a floor here that your foot is pressing into. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. So we actually want to be strength, uh, stretching the muscles as we feel them strengthen. So you don't want to fold over limp muscles. You want to fold over muscles that are very, very, very engaged. Last breath. Good. From here, we're going to launch into standing split. So you're going to place the foot down. You're going to lift the left leg to the sky. Should feel good. And again, beginner's block, super helpful here. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out, find your high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior three. Hands to prayer, shift forward, a little bounce. So in warrior three, we wanna drop the left hip more than we think we need to. Beginners, hands on blocks or the floor. So unlike standing split where we open the hips, in warrior three, the hips like headlights are square towards the floor. So right in standing split, we let it go up. You know, we take the leg as high as it can go. Here, we're really more focused on alignment. We want to look like the letter T. Last breath. Good. Inhale. Come back to your high lunge. And exhale, hands to the floor. Plank, chaturanga, or skip it. You can also lower all the way to the ground and take cobra. If that's better for you. Left leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose just once. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, set the foot between the hands, low lunge. So right knee to the ground to start. Inhale, swoop the arms up. Plug the shoulder blades back. Squeeze the hips towards one another. So you're really lifted up, belly's pulling up and in, chest is open, inhale. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. So you're gonna flex the left foot. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Once again, imagine this left foot is pressing into a wall or something really sturdy. You're active with this leg. The left leg is active. You're actively flexing all the toes back. Inhale, long spine, draw the shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, fold. Good, two more on your own. Prioritizing length in the spine as you breathe in. Using your abs to draw you down as you breathe out. Last one. Making sure the left leg should almost be shaking, like you should feel a shaking almost in the muscles. You're flexing the foot and engaging the leg so much as you fold over it. Good, standing split. So this is a fun transition or a kind of annoying one, depending where you are in your practice. Just take your time to get there. Right leg high. Bring the hands to prayer. If you're balancing, just one more breath. Good. Exhale, step it back. High lunge. Mm, good. And then warrior three, hands to prayer. Shift off the back foot. And this time we want to drop the right hip more than we think we need to. Send the heart forward. Spiral the inner right thigh towards the ceiling. Really flex that back foot. So it's the same concept as if your back foot in warrior three was stamped against a wall. If your leg is just kind of dead and not active, it's going to be very hard to balance. Final breath, little cobra in the upper chest. Good. Exhale, take it back. High lunge, breath in. Exhale, hands frame the foot. Step back. Once again, your choice, vinyasa or skip it. Right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Cross the body. Good. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to right elbow. And hold. You're going to step the foot down. We're coming into lizard pose. So the right foot is wide of the right hand. Heel is on the mat. Toes are off the mat. And this is our little hip stretch. So we're stretching so as inner thigh, you can stay up on the hands or you can come down onto the forearms or if you're somewhere in between, you can be on a block. I like to rock from side to side here. Good. 
and then place the left hand down, bend the back left knee. You can always pad your back knee by you know, taking the mat and folding it over. Reach the right arm up and over. Hold the pinky toe side of the foot and pull the foot towards the seat and kick the foot towards your hand. Level one, you'll stay here. Or level one, you could just stay in um, the first variation. You don't even have to come into the quad stretch. Level two, three, if you want, you can bend the elbow onto the floor and really begin spiraling your chest towards the ceiling. Breathe in. And then as you breathe out, you're just going to square your shoulders towards the mat and kind of curl into yourself. So inhale, open the chest, kick the foot back. Mm, exhale, big quad stretch, square the shoulders. Just a little dynamic movement. This is all about flexibility, fluidity today. Inhale, open the chest, kick the foot back. Exhale, pull the heel towards the seat and fold. The last two, just on your own. Inhale, opening, roll chest open. Exhale. Good, last one. Mm. Exhale, let the foot go. Good, you're gonna take the hands underneath you and you're gonna square the hips. So you're gonna heel toe the foot so it's back in front of you. Inhale, just this time, um, turn the palms towards the left and right of the room, really open the chest. Big psoas stretch, this muscle here. And then exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana to fold. Good. So second time, Ardha Hanumanasana. Those of you that are working on it will just stay here exactly as we did before. This leg is super active. Those of you that are coming into full splits, if you feel warm enough, you're just going to start um, evolving there. And another thing you can do, all of you, if you're kind of in between, is you can use blocks to sort of make up the difference, right, if you're not completely there. Now, even in your splits, we want the legs strong. You're magnetizing the front heel towards the back heel. So you can always curl your toes under in your splits and use that as a tool to get the hip forward because the hips are going to want to be open like standing splits, but we really want the hips square like warrior three for a true, true um, split with integrity. So you want to pull your right hip back and move your left hip forward. And then, of course, depending on where you are in your practice, maybe you don't need the block. Maybe you can have a moment here. Maybe you can fold forward. So see what works for you. We're going to be here for three more breaths. Remember to magnetize the legs towards one another. So imagine both heels are sucking up towards your pelvis. Everything's hugging in towards your pelvic floor. So even your groin is lifting up away from the mat. Last breath. Good. Good to come out wherever you are. We're just gonna all come to all fours and then press back into downward facing dog. Really nice, you guys. Inhale, plank, chaturanga, or skip it. Left leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, draw it in, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to right elbow, cross the body. Good, inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to left elbow, and then plant the foot. So you're taking the foot wide of the left hand, heels on the mat, toes are on the wood, lizard pose, press your hands into the mat. Inhale, stay upright here for more of a stretch in the psoas and the groin, or you can exhale if it feels good, come down onto the elbows, or place your elbows on a block for more of a hip stretch. I like to move a little side to side. You can roll onto the pinky toe side of the foot if that feels good for you. So this is really a place to close your eyes, breathe, and make this an exploration of what feels good. Two more breaths. Good. Place your right hand on the mat if you're moving on. Reach the left arm up and over. Hold the pinky toe side of the foot so your shoulders open. Pull your heel towards your seat and then kick your foot away from you. So you, again, you have, instead of just stretching the muscle, the muscle is engaged and then we're stretching it. Good. You can stay here. We're inhaling, opening the chest. And exhale, just rounding the shoulders, coming down to square the shoulders to the mat. And then inhale, opening. And exhale, coming down. On level two, three, it's really nice to do this with the forearm on the ground if that's an option for you. So just flowing on your breath.
Last one. Good. Let the foot go. Take your hands to the mat. Heel toe your left foot in front of you so you're back in that lunge. Inhale. Just take the shoulders back. Roll the palms back. Just last big stretch for the right so as inhale. Mm. Exhale. Ardha Hanumanasana. Flexing the left foot. So again, level one, two, you're just going to keep working here. You're pulling the left hip back and the right hip forward. You're super engaging the left leg. You're thinking breathe in long spine, shoulders down and back. You're thinking exhale, fold forward from my navel, from my core, keeping a long spine. If you're moving into splits, you want to take your knee back. You want to take the leg forward. Again, blocks, super helpful here. You can use them in a variety of ways. And again, always trying to square the hip. So you want to curl the back toes under as a check. Press the right hip towards the front of the room. Take the left hip back. Maybe you can find that same posture. Opening and surrendering. Maybe you can fold forward. Maybe you don't need the block. Just wherever you are. No judgment of your flexibility. Three more breaths. Last breath. Slowly come on up. We'll all meet all fours. Let's roll the chest open. Exhale. Round. Come into your down cat. Good. Inhale. Chest open. Good. And then exhale. Downward facing dog. Walk the hands towards the feet. Feet are hip width apart. Hold your big toes with peace fingers. So you're going to make peace fingers. Um, hold your big toes. And you can just clasp opposite elbows if this isn't accessible to you like we did before. And just hang and sway. Otherwise, big toes um, in your peace fingers. And you're just going to bend the elbows wide to the left and right. Let your head go. Let your neck go. Send your thigh bones back in space. So feel the femur, the bone of your thigh move towards the back of the mat. And then roll your weight into the balls of the feet. Now pull up through your legs like crazy, just like we focused on yesterday. So pull up through the arches of your feet. Feel the kneecaps lift. So your legs are crazy strong and engaged and magnetizing towards one another. And then bend your elbows even more. Draw your shoulder blades down and back away from your ears. Find your breath. Four more breaths here. Legs are crazy engaged. So again, we're not just stretching. We're strengthening first, engaging the muscle, and then stretching into it. Keeping the muscle engaged the whole time. Last breath. Good. Inhale, half lift. Mm, exhale, walk it out to plank pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Here we go. Breathe in. Exhale. Knees to the ground. Sit off to the left. Final forward fold. Legs long in front of you. Dandasana. Staff pose. Now, if your back is really rounded here, you're going to want to sit. Again, block, bolster, couch cushion. So you want to have your back um, nice and straight. So for a lot of us, we're, you know, rounded. We need to sit up on something in order to give us a little more height. And then you're going to inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. So we're doing the exact same pose we just did, except that um, we have our legs on the floor now. So if you can hold the big toes with peace fingers, for example, you can go ahead and do that. If your hands are just on the ground, that's totally okay. I'd rather you don't reach for the feet and keep your shoulder blades gliding down your back than reach for your feet but get all weird and lose integrity in the upper body. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And just do that a few more times on your own. Flex powerfully with your feet. So I want you to flex from both the pinky toe and big toe side of the foot. And same cueing, right? Press your femur, press your thigh bone down into the ground, so much so that you feel your heel slightly lift off the mat. Mm. 
Five more breaths. Really engage your legs here. So I see so many students doing this pose and their legs are not engaged. Really powerfully flex the feet. Again, it's like your heels are going to take a lift off, off the mat. You're pressing the femur, the bone of your thigh, down into the mat so much that your heels are lifting off of the ground or have the energy as if they would lift off of the ground even if they're not lifting. And then again, for our last two breaths, maybe move the upper body from side to side. So just sway, keep the legs engaged, but let the upper body sway, maybe work out something in the lower back. Good, and then really carefully to come up, press your hands into the mat. You're gonna stack vertebra on vertebra, so the head is the last thing to come up. Keep your eyes closed. Just draw your legs into your easy seat for our closing meditation. So cross-legged or however you like to sit. And then we're just gonna take the backs of the hands to the knees, palms face up, index finger and thumb touch. I'm just going to take 90 seconds of silence here. Just feel the breath moving in the body, maybe thinking of a ball of light rising, tailbone to crown of head as you breathe in, crown of head to tailbone as you breathe out, looking for the pause at the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. And just ask yourself the question, how can I be more flexible in my life? How can I be more go with the flow? How can I find more fluidity in my daily tasks and the way that I arrange my day or interact with my loved ones? How can I just be more flexible? Slowly bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Dip the chin. Sense of deep gratitude for this practice, for whatever flexibility and range of motion your body does have. Just be grateful. And slowly open your eyes as you're ready. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me. Remember, you can get info on blocks and everything I use in these videos in the description below the video, so make sure to expand the description to get all those details. Huge thanks to Yoga Outlet for making these videos and this challenge series possible. Remember to subscribe to my channel to support free yoga online, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment below, let me know how you're feeling. Do you feel a little bit more flexible? How far did you make it in your split? Tell me in the comments, I wanna know. And uh, from my heart to yours, namaste. Mm -hmm.